Hello everybody, welcome to this uh, episode. Um, today I would like to talk about uh, testing and refactoring legacy code. Mm, the exercise that we are going to do today is called Trip Service Kata and if you want you can find several implementation of the same Kata in several programming language so that if you want you can go there and try to try it out using different programming languages and if you look <coughs> at the description of this video I also uh, provided some link to um, other code kata about uh, legacy code and of course you can find uh, another video where you can follow all the solution of this exercise so it's um, in this video, I would like to show you some technique and practice that you can apply when dealing with legacy code. Uh, dealing with legacy code is something that happens um, often and this exercise is meant to show you some technique and some tool that you can apply to, uh, to help your journey. So let's start. Um, this is the class that uh, in somehow we have to deal with. And as you can see here, we don't have any test about this uh, code. So basically we don't know anything about uh, its behavior. So usually uh, when you want to refactor, that means trying to change mm, the existing code in order to make it probably uh, better or for example you know you want to add some new functionality in your code and it is difficult to add it because your code is quite difficult to work with and yeah that's probably could be a good opportunity to introduce some refactoring to refactor your code uh, in this case uh, if we suppose that we want to to change this code for some reason probably because we want to add new a new functionality and uh, and we are not familiar with this code so one of the thing one of the first step that we can do is to try to write some test for this class so now I, I I'm not going here in depth to understand what this code is meant to do here the first step that i want to do blindly is just to create a test for this class here we go and of course i don't know what i'm going to to test and let me try to rearrange this stuff uh, split vertically here we go oh here we go okay much better so that uh, you can follow the test here and the application code here so i'm not going to touch this code so what i want to do uh, as per step is to write some test so that by writing some tests in place i can have more i can gain more confidence on try to change the current implementation so i don't know what is the behavior that i'm going to describe with this test so the first thing that i'm going to do is just to try to uh, create a new instance of this uh, of the object under test and see what happen if I, I if I'm able to to create an instance and it seems that I'm able and the first thing the second thing that I'm going to do is to try to call this function here get trips by user I'm going to add a null here just the simplest uh, thing that I can pass. That's it. And 
let's see what happened when I try to run this code, this test. Okay. So I get an exception. Uh, trip service cut exception, collaborator call exception, user session, get logged user. Line 14. Here. Okay. Um, this is interesting. So for some reason, we are trying to call this code. And as you can see here, we are not in control. We cannot control this code just because probably uh, this is a a global state somewhere so we want to, we want to try to to find a way to to be able to to control this uh, so one practice that we can do here basically is to try to extract this code the code that we cannot control in a new method And I will extract this method in this call, this statement basically, in this method here, get logged in user. Here we go. So as you can see, this is a sort of safe move or refactoring move, just because what we did here is just to extract this sentence in a method. Uh, now what we can do basically from our test is to try to change the behavior of this uh, method trying to override it uh, here so let's see what we can do is to put his testable trip service here we go and for the moment we can create this class as an inner class just because this will be used only for the purpose of testing and let's try to override this new method get logged in user that means uh, okay we discovered something new about this code and this method should be used to return the logged in user right so now I don't know anything about it and I'm going to do the same I've done here so the simple st stuff to do is to try to return null okay and now we can try to rerun the test and oops and let's see what happened now okay now it's uh, interesting, we, we, we get a new uh, error here that is user not, not logged in exception. If we follow the line, here we go. Okay, we ended up in this line, on the line 28 of our class, trip service class, and uh, this is code that we are able to control. So basically this is code generated from our uh, class our method probably this is the first behavior that we can try to describe by um, by this test uh, now I would like to introduce a new technique basically that can we use and that can be uh, helpful when we want to uh, write new test and cover um, find in somehow the untested code and uh, write all the tests needed in order to describe all the behavior uh, contained in, in the code that we want to test basically and here one tool that we can use is the code coverage tool for example let's see what happened when we try to run this test with the coverage tool let's see Oh, probably 
I can move this, uh, let's see, move bottom, okay, much better, okay, uh, maybe it's difficult to see this, let me change, uh, uh, color scheme, general, line coverage, cool, let's try to choose a, a more brighter green, here we go, yeah, much better, and what about the uncovered, much brighter the red, here we go, choose, apply, uh, perfect, maybe more brighter, okay, much better. So as you can see now, we, we have more uh, uh, a new uh, helpful indicator here because now we know uh, what, what is the line covered by our test. So it means that this one, two, three, four line are traversed basically every time we run this test. So we know that every time we run this test, uh, the code uh, covered basically, the code traversed is this plus uh, this line and these five lines basically are part of the behavior we want to describe here this is part of the behavior of the class under test so let's try to find a better name and let's try to uh, to make it green because this is some test that we we want to add in our test suite is a behavior that deserves a documentation so uh, trip service test let's see uh, let me close this okay so we can say uh, it should throws an exception when user is not logged in oops is not logged in and let's try to expect the exception that is user not logged in exception here we go now what i'm expect is to receive a green bar great at least what we did is to document is to document this behavior. Uh, now there is some interesting uh, part of our test because that is basically, if we look, if we try to read at this test, uh, we can see that we are going to uh, instantiate to create a testable trip service. And whenever we call a git, tri git trips, whenever we want to call this method get trips by user with null, uh, we get a user not logged in exception. This is what we re uh, we, we described basically when we uh, decide to end up with this uh, name for our test. But there is something weird here because it, it, it is not explicit basically where the trip service return a not logged in uh, user and what does null mean? So uh, I would like to extract some meaningful terms here in order to provide more context. Uh, let's say in order to add some uh, information here that can be relevant for the name of the test so that we can find a link between the name of the test and what basically we are going to, to test. So the first thing that uh, I, will, I would like to do is to provide a better name for this null. So probably here we can we can add this a uh, user. Yeah, we, we don't care about the value. We just say get trips by user a user. And let's try to. Here we go. Everything is green. And the other thing that I would like to do is this. So I would like to, to instantiate, to create a trip service for a uh, not logged in user. So let's try to rename this to 
a trip service for a not logged in user. Okay. Let's try to rerun the test. Okay, everything is green. So now every time we read the intent, the name of the test, and we go and read the body, the content of the test, the test, we can have some uh, link between, between what we see and what we described. Okay. Uh, let's say that this is our first test in place. Uh, let's try to understand what would be the next test. Now, another technique here uh, could be to try to write test from the outer, the most outer uh, branch to uh, the most uh, uh, depth branch. So in this case, this uh, this was the most outer branch. So the next probably could be this. And we need to understand um, or probably uh, these. Here we go. Yeah, now we need to understand something about this code here, what this code is trying to do. Because at some point it will return a trip list. So, and it will return a trip list whenever uh, this is friend that is a Boolean variable is true so it means that here yeah it could be false and so let's see here what happened when logged user di is different by null so okay it means that we will have a logged user so this could be the next step in order to enter this branch and if we provide a user okay we can try to avoid to go to this loop uh, simply providing a user with no with an empty friends list and this will be false and at least what we will expect is to have a an empty list of trip so this could be the next test that we can write let's try so what we expect is returns no trip when the user has no friends this users this user has no friends Okay, now is interesting because we need to uh, write a trip service that will return a logged in user. Okay. This will be again a trip service, but we need to create this one now. And we need to override this in order to return a logged in user. And in our case, the simplest case here is to return a logged user, a variable that is different by null. So here we can. We can say return new user and we are done and the next 
uh, thing that we need to to pass here is is a user that has no friends because we want to avoid to enter this loop so User with no friends. And now we sh can try to write our, our session. And what we can assert is that service get trips by user is empty. So let's try to extract this maybe in a variable trips. And this probably could be part of our setup. And let's write around this test and let's see what happened. Okay, it's green, but now I would like to run it with the coverage to understand what is, what are the new lines that we covered? Because I'm expecting to cover these and at least uh, this line. Let's see this line. Oh, but the, I want to run the whole test suite. Let's see. Okay, cool. So we have new lines covered basically this one and this one. So probably we can think to, to go in depth with this because probably the next could be a test that will say that a test that will use a user with a friend but a friend that is not equal to the logged user. So it means that the user and the logged in user are not friend. And at least the next test will cover this line. Cool. And we discover a new behavior. But before going uh, to the new test, I would like to um, stop here and see if we can mm, try to improve at least the link between the intent that we want to describe with this uh, name and the body. Let's try to rename, to, to read, to read the, the name. We wrote returns no trips when the user has no friends. Throws an exception when user is not logged in. So we have two concepts of user and this is quite misleading because it's, it is difficult to understand if this user is this one or if the user is the not is the not logged in user and here the user is the logged in user or the user uh, that we pass as an argument so this is something that we can we should take care of because it can be misleading so for the moment we could leave this uh, as it is and probably we can go back come back here as soon as we wrote the third uh, test so the next uh, thing here is that we introduce this class here that say trip service for a not not logged in user and now we have this trip service for a logged in user Then we have this user with no friends. And here we use this sentence here. The user has no friends. And here we say user with no friends. So probably we can find a better name here. Returns to no trip for a user with no friends.
ok ok probably uh, let's try to run this test let's see what happened ok for the moment we can try to leave uh, everything as is just remember that uh, the user here can be is the is not the user that we pass, but is the user uh, that is returned by this uh, method get logged in user and the same here here now the user is the user that we pass as an argument to the method that we are trying to test so this could be misleading try to remember this uh, the second point that we should remember is that now we have a sort of we have a sort of uh, duplication between this class and this class uh, because they basically just uh, return a not, a not logged in user and a logged in user and we use uh, a, a name here that can help us to understand that probably we could extract something and we can use some this something as an argument as a cons constructor parameter for this trip service but but let's uh, consider these as ints that we can use maybe later because also tests are subject to to refactor but let's wait until at least the next test okay so what we said before previously is that the next test could be returns not trip for a user that is not our friend or when user is not a friend not trip when the user is not a friend okay probably it's interesting hmm let's say let's see no trips when the user is not friend with the logged in user No trip, no trips when user is not friend of okay now now probably it could be better because now we introduce the concept of user, the relationship between the user and the logged in user. So, I will copy this body and we say that we need, we, we need to continue to use this, oops, here we go, we need to continue to use this class so we can continue to use trip service for a logged in user, but now we need a user with friends, so friend new user and and in here we expect a green bar let's see okay cool and if we run all the test suite with the coverage what I am expect is that we traversed at least this line the line 18 okay cool let's see it seems that now basically uh, if we want to achieve the 100% of code coverage of our uh, method that means that in somehow we was able to describe uh, to describe all the behavior contained in this uh, function in this piece of code 
that basically means that okay since uh, we were able to describe all the behavior through automated test it means that now from now on we can try to refactor to change some uh, internal uh, part of the code uh, to try to improve the, the design of this code probably to try to make it more readable uh, and we can try to do that in a safely manner just because we have the test in place so it means that if everything go bad here while we are trying to apply some refactor we can go back and rerun our test suite and uh, go to the green bar again so let's say that now the test is will be here just to provide us a sort of safety net to support in somehow our refactoring so basically it's very difficult to, to do refactoring if you don't have test in place or at least if you don't know how to verify the behavior of your code because you don't know if what you changed caused some regression in your code so that's why the first uh, step that you should do when want to refactor some code is to be sure to have test in place before starting refactoring uh, so before trying to go on and writing the full test so that that seems to be the last behavior here that uh, is left to to document i would like to go back here because now here uh, we reveal this uh, new concept here in, in the name of the test we reveal the logged in user and you remember the duplication i talked about before uh, that is this one basically and this one and this one so what i would like to do here now only for this only for this class is to extract this concept of a logged in user and to make it explicit uh, okay let's see what we what we can do here hmm. so probably what we can do here is to try to extract this as a field let's see Okay, and let's try to rerun all the tests. Okay, everything is green. So the next step is that I would like to bring this um, as a parameter of the constructor. Of a, I would like to extract this as a constructor parameter for this class. At the end, the intent is that I would like to remove this duplication here. Um, and to make explicit this concept uh, in the setup of our test. Um, so let's see if we have some refactor, if we can move this as, as a parameter, uh, maybe move, uh, nope. So we should create a new constructor Okay, much better now and and probably okay I can use this as a default but let's try let's see if we can do is anything manual or no we need to change something manual so it means that we are going to use this 
as, as a logged in user. And we are going to pass it as a constructor here. Trip service for a logged in user. And here we go, this is your logged in user. And here also. And now I would like to see if everything is working. Okay, everything is working. And probably now we can try to change the name of this. That could be trip service for Trip service for logged in user. Here we go, it's much better now. Mm -hmm. And at this point, I think that probably we can get rid of this also. This one. Because probably we can try to replace it with uh, trip service for null. Because now basically these will behave exactly as these because now we are going to use a null user. Now let's try to remove this. Uh, we run all the tests. Everything is green. And of course try to extract this as a constant with a mean, mean, meaningful name. And this will be a not. Logged in user. Uh, here we don't care about a user. Maybe better any user because we, we don't care because this this is this is the f uh, this is valid for basically any type of user because we check if the user is not logged in we will return this exception immediately. We are not going to check something in the user because of this check basically. Okay, everything is green. Let's try to run this with the coverage. Nice. So the last test now that we have to write is basically that we expect to receive the trip list of the user when the user is a friend of the logged in user basically so uh, returns uh, the trips of the user when friends of the logged in user returns the trips of the user when friends of the logged in user so probably I can copy this one here we go so we will we, we, we need to use the trip service for the logged in user cool now uh, we need to be more explicit here because now we want to enforce this we want to enforce the fact that the user with friend is a uh, is a friend of the logged in user so the fact that before we tried to extract this concept as a as a variable basically of the trip service now it seems that it can help us to to make the link between the intent basically of the name of what we want to test with our body everything is explicit and uh, is explicit and we can easy easily find out the links
and of course now we want to uh, to add at least a trip a trip oh let me let me extract this as a constant any trip and now we can assert something more interesting here. So we can say assert equal trips or assert true uh, trips contains any trip. Uh, maybe now here it's not any it's a trip so let's see what happens when we want to run this test now okay so we are we have another interesting exception collaborator call exception trip DAO should not be invoked on a unit test and okay here we go we are here now let's try to uh i want to run this with the coverage that just to be sure that we cover these two lines also yes every here, here we go so everything is green except this and it is interesting because this is uh, another reason because i don't like to see uh, the code coverage as a as a sort of what quality uh, metric because as you see here uh, we have basically the hundred percent code coverage of this method but at least uh, uh, we have a failing test so uh, there is no relationship basically between uh, the code coverage the code coverage percentage because at, at this point we we reach the hundred percent of code coverage there is no relationship between this number and the fact that our code is working because now this code is not working and l let's try to um, to make this test pass and as we did for the logged in user here uh, uh, basically here we have to do uh, the same thing uh, there is some code here that uh, we are not able to control from the test because probably this is something global and when you have to deal with something global it became very probably very challenging to deal with this kind of stuff during in your test um, so one thing that we can do here is to try to extract a method for that And we can call it uh, find uh, trips by user. Here we go. And now basically what we need to do is to override this function. Uh, for our test purpose and it is easy because now uh, the behavior we want to achieve here is that this find friends find trips by user will return the trips of the user basically uh, let's see let's override this find trips by user that will accept the user itself and will return the user trips Let's see what happened. Okay, cool. So now everything is green, and if we run this uh, this test with coverage, here we go. So everything is green. So we reached basically the hundred percent of code coverage. Uh, 
of our code. So basically means that we were able to describe any behavior, all the behaviors of our code. And now we can think that now is uh, the moment of refactoring. So basically now we can try to understand how to uh, refactor this stuff out, how to make it more uh, clear. Mm. There is another uh, hint, another uh, mm, tip. So we started to, to write tests from the outer branch, from the outer to uh, the more depth branch. So in order, if we want to refactor our code, an advice, an hint could be, uh, could be tried to start refactoring from the inside, to start to refactor from the inside. Generally, because probably if we start to refactor from the inside, it will be easy or easily probably to extract a little piece of code and probably understand a little piece of code instead of trying to uh, proceed with a big refactor and pro or probably trying to refactoring everything because we need to understand that refactoring is uh, not uh, rewriting everything. Refactoring is trying to do some little step uh, in order to try to improve uh, the design of the existing code. So the idea is to try to, to do little step and we can try to do this by starting from the uh, inside. So probably if we want to start from the inside, uh, the most deeper branch, uh, probably one thing that we can do here is to start from here. So the logic behind the under understanding when uh, two users are friends. Uh, one thing that we can do is probably to extract this because this is basically the logic behind understand if the if two users are friends so the first thing that i feel to do here is to try to extract this in a in a new method and what happened when i try to extract this in a method is uh, that i found this stuff very interesting here because I expect to. I was expected to find a new to extract a, a new method that will deal with just two user, and instead, uh, I ended up with a new parameter here that is a boolean is friends. So this is just a. It should be an implementation detail probably of the method that we are going to extract. So probably before doing this move, we need to take care of this variable. So let's try to cancel for a moment and. Let's see where this uh, is friend boolean variable is used because to me it seems that this variable is only used within this block. So one little step of, refa of refactoring, one, one little move that we can do is to try to push this line uh, within this block. So I will try to move it here, here we go. And of course, trying to rerun all the tests just to be sure that everything is working as expected. Cool. So now we can try to extract this. And let's see what happened. Here we go. So now it's 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 more clear. So we can extract a function that is called is friend that accept a, a user and another user. Uh, so let's see our friends. Or let's see, is friend of because I would like to understand what this uh, method is doing here. Is friend of uh, user? Uh, it basically go through all the uh, friends of the user and try to understand if so. Basically, it, it's is friend of user because we are trying to go through all the friends of the user. And try to come to see if the logged user is a friend of the user so the first should be the user and the second is the user that we want to compare let's see what happened when we extract this uh, method here we go 
and let's here we go we have this method now let's see what happened when we rerun every test here okay everything is green so uh, there is another interesting uh, move that we can do here basically what we can do is to try to uh, try to understand if this method uh, should be continue to be here in the trip service or we should consider to move this method somewhere uh, else so if we look at the argument that this method accept that is a user and other user and if we try to look outside this method uh, we can easily end up with the conclusion that uh, this function works only uh, with the parameter that we are uh, passing to it this is a good hint because it, it, it is telling to us that this function is not dependent on some detail of the trip service so this is the first hint that can tell us that probably we can move this somewhere else so and but say that let's see what happened here inside so it, it's it, it means that this user this is friend it is something that could be done directly from a user so it's friends user the user itself have everything that is needed in order to perform this action because we use the get friends of the user itself so probably we can consider to move this method as a method of the user itself let's see if we try to move uh, the ide is suggesting us to move this method to the user class let's try to see what happened and here we go let's try to rerun the test everything is green and let's go here to the user is friend of other user I don't know maybe here now we can use a uh, user and probably here we can change this in friends of user now I don't care about this implementation probably we can change it but uh, we can leave this as a second exercise try to rewrite this for the moment what I care about is just to move this logic when it is more appropriate okay another uh, thing here is uh, that probably we can consider to inline this uh, assignment because at the moment this friend is used only here only in one place and probably uh, it is more easy to us to read if user friends of logged in user so do something instead of, of reading his friend and then if his friends blah blah so let's try to inline this and let's try to rerun all the tests here we go everything is green so let's see what we can do next uh, yeah probably another thing that we can consider to do is to understand when the where this trip list variable is used because it seems that this variable it is only used uh, here so let's see what happens if we move this here everything is green so and we know that probably one thing that we can do is to avoid this kind of assignment because if they are friends what I'm going to do is to return the trips of the user so here probably we can return find trips by user
Mm, maybe I have to run all the test suites. Okay, cool. And the same here, probably I can try to inline now this variable. Here we go. I would like probably to, here we go. And probably I can try to extract this in a method, oops. That can reveal better the intent of this new array list. That could be, I don't know, no trips. Here we go. Okay, maybe a constant. Let's see. Returns no trips. Okay, cool. Hmm. Another thing probably here that we can do because at so at this point we can uh, there is probably not so much to do here. If the user is friends of just return friends, uh, find the trips by user. Or Let's try here. I would like to rename here trips of user. Oops. Okay, here we go. Trips of user. Um, probably what we can try to do here, another action is uh, probably to change these as a sort of guard of the method itself. So instead of running this code as a nested uh, block of this um, uh, of this conditional we can try to revert this conditional in order to to run it as a guard so let's see um, I don't know if there is a way to invert if condition. Here we go. And let's see if everything is working. Okay, everything is working. So at this point, I think that we can get rid of this else. Probably. I want to try it. And let's try to rerun the test. Okay, everything is working. Everything is working. So, uh, another thing here, probably. Uh, what we can do here is, um, mm, we, we could consider to extract this in a new function that will accept the logged user. Or probably one thing that we can do is to extract this in a in a guard method like uh, check uh, if the user is logged in uh, something like that let's try Okay, just because here we, we, we don't care about the probably the, the implementation itself. We want just to uh, to notice this guard here when we enter to this uh, uh, method here. We know that at some point we check if the user is logged in. We don't care uh, how this is performed, basically. Mm. Another thing that we can do um, is to try to extract this uh, in, a, in a method and use the logged, logged user as a, as a parameter. But let's see what happened when we wanted to do this. Uh, because basically uh, this is not going to do anything new or anything different of the get trips by user itself. Uh, 
Let's see. Here we go, everything is green. Probably what we can do now is to try to inline the logged logged in user. Uh, let's try to rerun the test. Here it is green. Uh, by the way, uh, uh, in my opinion, this uh, could be an intermediate step that you can try to apply. So basically trying to extract the same uh, function the same method you are trying to uh, that that you 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 were refactoring uh, in a new method with a, a different signature by that inject uh, the logged in user let's say uh, in my opinion this could be a good intermediate step uh, that you can do if your intent is to change is to change the is to change the uh, uh, the method call of the client. So if your intent is to expose this uh, as a new method that, that, that will be used by your client and you want to, let's say, in somehow guarantee, um, you, you want to, to, to guarantee, uh, to preserve the old behavior, probably this could be a good step to do so that you can preserve the old behavior of the get trips by user that works by accepting the user itself and uh, try to get the logged in user from somewhere or now you can expose this new method that say okay i i still need a user but now instead of uh, looking for the logged in user um, by using some of my collaborator i can ask you the client to to provide uh, a logged in user by yourself let's say uh, that this could be a good intermediate step uh, that you can try to um, apply when you want to change the the interface of your method seen by your by your client but you want to preserve the old behavior uh, Let's say that this move is uh, just something that we did as a sort of a didactical move. Of course, of course, one thing that you can do if you think that uh, uh, you want to uh, make this more uh, readable and you think that this move uh, will uh, make this part of code more readable is, for example, to change. Uh, but this, this, is, this will be more uh, programming language specific. So, for example, to me, if I read this, if user friends of logged the user return trips of user, it's it's quite um, uh, readable for me. So, but but if you want to, I don't know, mm, uh, I don't know, make it probably better from the point of view of Java, uh, you can try to um, you can try to change it with a ternary uh, condition. Let's say nope. Uh, with something like return user mm, oops um, something like that basically you can do uh, return user is friends of log logged user uh, what uh, trips of user otherwise uh, you will return no trips uh, let's try to okay everything is formatted correctly cool let's try to run the test again and everything is green so this is just a matter of um, programming language style uh, if, if you think that this uh, will uh, make your code more readable uh, let's go for that otherwise uh, probably um, uh, this old, um, let's say, writing is is enough probably. Okay, I, I I think that the the video could end here, but uh, I would like to leave you with um, the next uh, 
uh, step, the next session, because it's my intent to uh, to upload a new uh, re refactoring refactoring video uh, that will continue exactly uh, from this uh, step. Uh, because basically now we introduce uh, there are some hints here that we can read uh, basically um, the hints are these uh, two method that uh, we need to extract we need to provide here just for testing purpose and as you can see here uh, uh, they are not covered they are not covered because uh, they were uh, uh, overridden in our um, uh, trip service test from this um, uh, test class basically uh, so when you do this uh, basically when you feel the need to extract something that is not easy to control by your test probably and I will say probably uh, you are in presence of what is called seams so basically seams in your code are uh, part of your code that basically can uh, uh, change um, the behavior of your uh, code so you, you can see uh, the seams as a sort of um, entry point basically of your code where you can try to inject uh, a new a new behavior so basically changing the behavior of your seams will affect the behavior of, of your code if you think at, at these uh, trips of methods if we change the behavior and we see that for example uh, we have several tests here that depends on the behavior of the trips of method for example this one because it depends about on this implementation and the same uh, hold for uh, this get logged in user changing basically the behavior of this method will change the behavior of our application code of, of, of our trip service so we are in presence of what is called seams and when you are in presence of seams or when you need to uh, to override a class just for testing purpose uh, it means that probably there are some hidden uh, collaborator in your code so in the next video that um, I would like to upload and let me know in the comment section or uh, it, let me know if you want to see what could be the next step in order to extract uh, these themes as a collaborator and in order to basically get rid of the needs of a, um, um, of a testing class. So let me know if, if you want to, to know more uh, to understand what would be the next the steps needed to extract uh, the seams as a collaborator and uh, we will see more uh, advanced topic on this we will try to understand the concept of test doubles um, the concept of fake object and the concept of mock object so the video is um, is over um, in, the in the description you will find some link to the original um, exercise um, it's another YouTube video and I will um, uh, put in the description uh, other uh, code kata about uh, refactoring so folks uh, thank, thank, thank you I hope that this video uh, will be useful uh, for you and let me know if you would like to see more about uh, sims and test doubles bye bye